morning. outside and put them in this press. I'm using cider press because I don't have a grape press. Um, and I tested been testing the bricks every day and last night the bricks were down to two. So today I'm pretty sure it's near zero. So when your grapes get to be zero bricks that's when it's time to press them off the skins. Okay, that's it. Out here, we load up the press with the grapes. I got a strain, mesh straining bag on the inside. And the stuff that runs straight on through is called the free run. That's the, supposed to be the primo right there. Notice it runs through another sieve of some sort, catching big stuff. And I guess really all we have to worry about at this point is, you know, we're going to load up this basket. I got all five of these buckets full of fermented grapes. And when I load them all into here, I'm going to do one bucket. I'm going to press one bucket at a time. And the only thing I got to work, remember, consider is how much I press it. The more you press it, the more bitters you get out. And that's the magic equation there. You're going to kind of make a decision, of course, by tasting um, how bitter you want it.
Okay, so we got the first one loaded up. I'll clean that bucket down. At this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and fold all this down. And we're ready to press batch one. Now I'm going to sample a little bit of the free run to try to gauge my what I'm tasting. It's wet. And then I'm going to sample a little bit as I press to make sure that I don't press it too much. So let's load them up. Of course, I've sterilized this press all morning. All the wood. See this back under there? Just kind of catch what I can. Spacer block in there, and uh, I think we are doing what we set out to do just about two weeks ago. Here we go. Again, just let it go a little bit. <laughs> no rush. I'm going to take one bucket in at a time and put it into my 14 gallon demi john. Because I can't lug much. This is the one bucket that I have that fits under here. Okay. Sample some of this. Well, it sure is easier than pressing apples. You can do it with one finger. Again, we're gently pressing. We don't want to press these babies dry. Now, what I'll probably do is I'll get another hopper bucket and I'll press them dry into another bucket that I'll keep out and drink right away. But I don't want too much bitterness going into my aging one. Again, this is a very exact science. We must be precise and logical in our decision making. <laughs> okay, okay. The first pressing Done. Now you have to smash the grapes. Well, we smashed them all right. Here they are. It's some great, some great patty. Would be the best thing to do. <coughs> there it is. There's what I'm going to put in the, I'm going to put them right under the grape lines, actually. Ooh. Yeah, not bad, huh? Yeah. And here it is. I filled one 14-gallon demijohn and four-gallon jugs, and then a little bit for me to sample. And right out of the press, I think it's well underway. <laughs>